What's up, Booyah Nation? Welcome to episode number eight of this Manchester United career mode. I'm in trouble. If I lose against Chelsea right here, I could possibly be fired. I'm serious. That, that's how bad of a start to a season I've had with Manchester United. I started this career mode with Manchester United because there's a little bit of drama in real life. A lot of, a lot of the Manchester United fans like the new manager. A lot of the fans dislike the manager. So I said, you know what? There's controversy going around on that team. It'll be a fun career mode to do. So I'm going to take, take charge of them. And I did. The only problem is I'm starting worse with Manchester United than they started in real life. They didn't even start that bad in real life, but I started horrible. I lost the Shield game. I lost the first game of the BPL. And if I lose to Chelsea, there could be talks of me in trouble and in the hot seat here at Manchester United. And to make things worse, Chelsea start the game off pretty freaking well. Over the top to Eto, which made me bring out the goalkeeper Eto into Juan Mata. And the finish on that was just sexy. And Juan Mata was one of the guys I looked at. Uh, to bring to Manchester United, but I just knew I wouldn't be able to afford him. Juan Manta is a stud player, man. I wish I could have him on my team, but I want to talk a little bit about how unlucky we've been. Like, it's been disappointing. La last, last episode was disappointing. We lost two games that, honestly, we created chances. Wayne Rooney hit the crossbar in one of them. RVP hit the post in one of them. We just had chances that we weren't tucking away, and that's the reason we're 0-2 in our game so far. Zero wins, two losses. It's, it's the reason. And chances like this, Welbeck with a great steal. And then look at, oh, my days. Sinji just comes up and... It, it, it's, it's plays like that that just turn a season around. If we would have scored that right there, tied this game up, we could have been looking at something great. We could have been looking at a massive comeback in front of our fans at Old Trafford. But since we didn't score that goal... Well, Juan Mata is going to do what he does best. He feeds it down to Hazard. Hazard sends it back in. And look at Juan Mata, just a playmaker, man. Scores his second goal in this game. And they're now up 2-0. So I started thinking to myself, I started panicking. I'm serious. I started panicking. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. It, it's, it's weird because we had chances in those first two games. We could have walked out of there with wins, to be honest with you, and we didn't. And the reason we didn't walk out of there as well back here could have put another chance away is because I really don't know how to use RVP yet. I haven't really used RVP that much in Ultimate Team or in career mode for the past couple FIFA. So I don't really know how to use RVP well. I don't know how to use Ro Rooney well, to be honest. So I'm trying to figure out my players, and eventually I'm going to get the hang of it. Let's just hope I don't get fired before I get the hang of it. Because another thing that's weird to me is all the FIFAs I play on Legendary, and I usually win. You guys saw last year I did Legendary pretty damn well with, with um, look at this goal from Tehran. Look at this goal from Tehran! Damn, Tehran, man, we paid a lot of money for him, but when you pay a lot of money for a player, you need him to show up in the big games and at a big time, and Tehran in the 45th minute, off the volley, RVP with an assist, that's exactly what we needed for Tehran, and that's why we brought him in, showing up in a big game to give us a chance, so... I usually play on Legendary. You guys saw last year I beast on Legendary. I did so well with uh, with Austin Villa. And it, it, it wasn't hard, but this game on World Class, I'm struggling. I really think it's because I don't know how to use the players yet. Now, at halftime, I decided to do some manager things and decide to change back to Manchester United's default, which is a 4-2-3-1. And at this point, I thought, yo, you know what? I'm going to let uh, uh, I'm gonna let uh, Tehran and, and, and Valencia stay on the wings. I brought in Wayne Rooney. RVP uh, will play. RVP will will play striker Wayne Rooney will play behind him and I didn't bring in Nani at this point but one at some stage in the game I do bring in Nani but once I changed to this formation I, we started creating a bit more chances so maybe the 4-1-2-1-2 is not the way to go maybe that was the wrong formation maybe I should have kept Manchester United on the default formation Juan Fran here in the 70th minute puts a great cross in and that's what I'm saying disappointing unlucky there's so many words that you could put there to describe what just happened to us but Tehran with the pretty much one-on-one -on -one with a keeper all he has to do is head that a little bit to the side and to the corner and we would have tied this game 2-2 and it wouldn't have been that bad of a start to a season but instead we lose it we drop our first two games in the BPL we lost the shield game and we're on a three-game lose streak and yes yes the board starts talking about firing me they start telling me that that was a game that we shouldn't lost, that it was a game that we couldn't lose, and a game they definitely wanted us to win. So now, all of a sudden, I'm in the hot seat at Manchester United, and I'm starting to panic a bit. So I changed the formation to a 4-2-3-1, their default, as I said, and I decided to go RVP Wayne Rooney up front, Tehran Nani in the middle, Val Buena and Sanji Kagawa in the midfield. And I felt like this would work. Now, the guy that stood out the most for me, guys, is 
good eye. He's a guy I brought in because I thought Jones, uh, Johnny was leaving, Johnny Evans was leaving, and I thought I needed a center back, and, and then, you know, I didn't really need him that much, so I didn't really want to buy him. Only if Johnny was leaving did I want to bring him in. So Johnny was supposed to leave, I brought in uh, good eye, and he turns in to one of our best players so far he has been fantastic he cuts everything obviously i only show highlights so you don't see the entire game but if you were to watch Garay play like he cuts everything everything in the air on the floor to be honest if you play career mode i want to recommend Garay to you guys because i paid 20 million for him from Befica, and he's been an amazing center back for me him and Vidic together once i learn how to play with this team are going to be insanely insanely overpowered and easy to defend with because they are very very good now i know the the, the pace on garai will make you say i don't want to get him but trust me you will enjoy playing with him and he will save your booty many many times so we go up against crystal palace and again we're the home team and i knew in this game it was a must win situation where i could see my job come to an end i swing the ball to rvp and once again, the chances that I've been telling you clear goals are just not going in for us. And it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. But then Nani in the 40th minute sends a cross in. RVP chilling. And, uh, I mean, you try to explain it to me. Because I, I can't explain it. RVP, one of the better strikers in this game. Wayne Rooney, one of the better strikers in this game. And I can't seem to tuck our chances home. So we should be up 2-0 against Crystal Palace. We're not. 41st minute, we send the corner in. And the ball just keeps bouncing all over the place. We're attacking the nonsense out of Crystal Palace. But the one thing that's the one important key thing in this is that it's still no, no. I mean, that's the truth to it. It's still no, no. And we haven't, we're not able to score goals. So Nani's going to swing another one in. That one towards Garay. He gets his head to it, but it goes a little bit off target. And in the 45th minute, one of the better chances in the half, I believe, falls to Crystal Palace. Wait, I really don't remember this play. Oh, yeah. Now I remember this play. Off the post. Off the post. So I think a fair result going into halftime could have been 2 1 to us. Instead, we go in nil nil. And we're still in good shape, right? We're still doing fine. At least we didn't get scored on. And, and we had chances. RVP, 58th minute, swings it in. Nani gets the header. That gets cleared. Senji with a pass back in to Valbuena. Valbuena finds RVP. RVP trying to make something happen. I thought about crossing. I said, no, no, no. Forget that YOLO swag. Swing it to Ronaldo. I mean, to Rooney. And Rooney puts it into the back of the net. For some reason, every time I say Rooney, I want to say. Ronaldo, I don't know, who cares, but we got Booyah music, and that's all that freaking matters. Rooney puts it into the back of the net. I was super boosted with Wayne Rooney getting a goal there. Important goal, and it's the two front men making something happen. RVP holding up the play, swinging it over to Wayne, and Wayne tucking it home. Very, very important goal for us, and we finally have the lead for the first time this season. 70th minute, good steal there. The ball falls to Tehran. Tehran with a fake shot, and Tehran coming up with a big boy goal. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy paid 30 million plus Anderson but he is becoming a star for us and he's becoming a great player I couldn't be more happy with Tehran and Garay the only guy I'm kind of shaky about is Valbuena at the moment really wanted Hamsik couldn't pick him up but we're up 2-0 in the 90th minute ever here Swings it up to RVP. RVP trying to make something happen. He gives it to Nani, the Portuguese man. The ball gets through. Wayne Rooney with a shot. And he almost found his second goal of the game. Rafael back in the lineup. Swings it into the middle. That one gets cleared. It falls to Shinji. Kagawa. Kagawa with a move. Kagawa! Booyah. Some more Booyah music and a big win. And I finally figured out how to play with my team. Up next, we have Liverpool at Anfield. A very difficult game. We're getting the difficult games out of the way, though. Chelsea's out of the way. We're about to get Liverpool out of the way. Then really all we have is Manchester, Manchester City and Arsenal for actually big, big teams in the league So and Spurs as well. So we're getting a lot of the big games out of the way. Anfield next. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like. Keep supporting this series the way you do. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you can hit me with some formations or whatever you think I can do to uh, improve the Manchester United play. And thanks for watching. Booyah, Nason. Booyah.